Thanks for tuning in. This is going to be just a quick review, um, overview of my Seiko SNZH57. It's a Seiko 5 Sports Series. Automatic, exhibition back. This has got the, uh, the black bezel with the gold lettering, numbering rather, and um, gold highlights on the face. Just a great overall watch. I re really, really like this watch. This is actually, it came with the um, Seiko's uh, stainless steel bracelet. I took it off and put on this uh, strap. This is from Brady Strap. This is sailcloth from Brady Straps. They make really nice straps over there. And this is just so comfortable. It just breaks in so nicely. So it's not it's not leather. You don't have to worry about the wear of leather. This should last a long, long time. This is black with the gold stitching. And I thought that just really set the watch off beautifully. Like that. Uh, you know, I really like this watch. I love the domed crystal on it. The Hard X crystal is domed. So that's just a really nice feature for it. As opposed to just a flat one with a slight you know, chamfer around the edge like they sometimes do. Um, Automatic, not windable, not hackable. Um, accuracy, yeah, typical for an automatic, you know, plus or minus five seconds or so a day. Uh, you know, uh, you know, just automatic just in general don't seem to be the most accurate watches, but um, they just sure are beautiful and sure wear so well. I, you know, I couldn't be happier with this watch. I've had it probably. Let's see, I got this about three months now. Worn it a bunch. Um, here's a quick shot. It's gonna look like a wrist. Seven and a half inch on the wrist. So, um, just wears really nice. Just a great size watch. Not too big, not too small. I generally don't like um, the big, big oversized watches. That's just not the kind of guy I am. Uh, but I don't like them too small or dainty. Let's see what this one measures in at. We're at 41. Get around the edge there, so it, it it it's listed at 41. Lug to lug, where are we at about 48. So just typical um, size there. 41 is you know 40, 41. Smallest I like to go. That's just my own personal preference. Um, 44, probably about the biggest, anything over that just looks just too much for me. Um, this is the, uh, four, no, I'm seven S 26 movement. Um, it's real, real smooth sweep, you know, on, on the second hand. See that? I like that a lot. Great loom on it. Glows, glows real nice. Uh, Seiko Loom is just you know real bright when it, when it's fully charged up. I like it a lot. I wish they would just glow longer than they do. They you know, but it is what it is. There you know this is this is gonna this is gonna glow all night. That's for sure. But it's gonna it's gonna be there plenty uh, plenty uh, long for you. So um, great watch overall. Got it on uh, Amazon. One hundred thirty nine dollars on Amazon Prime. Get it in a couple days. Um, the Seiko 5s, um, I guess I, I just don't think they're making them anymore. I look go to Seiko's website. I don't see the 5s out there. It looks like the Prospect series is probably taken over. I could be wrong on that. If um, if, if you know if you know different, just go ahead and uh, email me below that if, if there, this is just a rumor or what. But uh, I you know they're just gorgeous watches. Uh, this is this happens to be uh, the K mo uh, model, so this is the uh, Malaysia made. Um, my brother actually purchased the exact same watch, the Japanese version, and I talked him into it because I wanted to see the difference, what, what, uh, the 50, $60 price difference, what, what, what it made. No difference whatsoever. Actually, um, mine seemed to actually work better than his, his, his was, uh, just, you know, just dying real quick. Uh, this this one is you know with the same wear just seemed to uh, go a little bit longer, 
than his did. So anyway, he still has his. He wears it. He likes it. Um, but, you know, he has to keep on wearing and and, and and keep on moving it around. Um, nothing wrong with that at all. Great watch. Great buy. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in, and we'll talk to you later.